Sagittarius, what's going on? It's me, your girl, Deep, 8th House Energy, here to give you your November 2019 general reading. Sagittarius, what's going on with you? What have you been up to? How has Scorpio season been treating you? <clears throat> you getting ready because it's almost your time. We got, what, till the 21st? You know, that's when things start kicking in, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. You know, we get our cuspers, they start turning in, like, what? Okay. So, um, I know you guys are getting ready to, you know, get turned up for your birthday and everything. So, what's going on with you right now, though? How you been? What's, what's, what's real? What's, what's not real? What's good? What's not good? What's, you know, what you got rid of? What you got new? Let's see. Now, if you, um, oh, I do want to thank everybody for their support. Those who are checking out the video. Thank you. <clears throat> Especially those who, um. You know, click like. Those who subscribe, thank you so much. You leave your comments. Appreciate you. You know, you donate to the channel. You reach out for a reading. <clears throat> thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. All right. This is going to be a Celtic cross. Doesn't matter where you have Sag in the chart. Okay? Doesn't matter at all. Those watching on behalf of Sagittarius, you know... This is just a general read, okay? Don't think that this is accurate 100%. You know, some of it might resonate, but just keep in mind it is general. All right, so. So your overall energy, five of pentacles in reverse, Taurus energy, seven of swords in reverse, Gemini energy, the fool, this is Uranus or <clears throat> Aries energy, Mars, specifically Aries, new beginnings. Uranus as well. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so what I'm seeing here. Is that you want a new beginning. You want to start over. You, um. Hmm. You want to go back. You were deceiving yourself about something. Perhaps you want to go back to something. Back to someone. Or maybe you're having some, you know, your financial troubles are, are changing. You know, they're, they're getting better. You know, and now you're thinking about, you know, what you did wrong. <laughs> and you're ready to uh, fix things for some of you. So, we'll find out more details about this, though. So, the current situation is the Knight of Wands. This is your energy, Sag. Knight of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> this could represent somebody who is not moving forward, not able to, to travel because they're not, <clears throat> they're not feeling it. You know, they're not connecting with it. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't appeal to you. This could also be somebody who's just interested in, you know, having fun. Um, as far as, you know, being in a relationship that's not what you're into, you know, you just want to have fun, you know, um, <clears throat> no ties, no strings attached, that type of energy. Now, the energy that is um, either negatively affecting that or positively affecting that is the three of cups. So, yeah, this is because you like to party and have fun. So you don't want any strings attached. You're ready to just chill out. Have fun, be around your friends, be around your family, you know, because it's birthday season coming up. So I understand that's where your head is at right now. All right. Now, in the past, we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. You may have had some problems in lo with love in the past, you know. Um, you may have had some problems with money. It could have been money. It could have been love. 
Um, but I'm getting that it might have been love, you know. Financially, you were doing all right. It's just that, you know, the the person you were with and the, the situation you guys had going on may have caused you some issues. Or on the flip side, <clears throat> your relationship could have been good. You might have just been having financial issues, you know, trying to get yourself situated. But I don't think that makes sense because I think the uh, original scenario that I came up with or that I felt come through... It, that makes more sense because of the fact that this is about partying and having fun. This is about, you know, one night stands or, you know, situationships, flings, you know what I mean? So your money is probably good. It's just you probably may have, you know, negative feelings towards a past relationship that didn't work out. Or you're like, whoo, thank God I got out of that relationship. Now I just want to be single and have fun. Okay. So it could mean different things. Take it how it resonates. Um, <clears throat> in the past, the recent past, we have the, uh, two of cups in reverse. So yeah, that means that there was, you know, there was fighting going on. There was disagreement. Um, you guys are not on the same page right now. Okay. That's in the very recent past. <clears throat> now the, um, energy that's crowning the reading here is the three of pentacles in reverse. All right. You, you, right now you just don't see anything, you know. That you are interested in making that move for. You know what I mean? There's nobody who really turns you on right now, you know, you, that you would want to be in a relationship with. Like, that's that's not an option for you right now. You know, you don't see any benefit to that right now. And then we have for the immediate future, the Six of Swords. So you could very well be leaving the situation if you've not already left. You're thinking about the past, you know, you have the past on your mind, but at the same time, you're ready for something new. <clears throat> you're ready to, this card tells me that you're ready for something new with the swords here in the front of you. So you're focused on the new, but you also reminisce about the past with the swords that are behind you. So this is all you, this is all thoughts. Okay. But you're moving on anyway. You see? So that's what you're going to be doing in the future. If you haven't already started. Depending on how this resonates with you. Now, in your fears is the king of swords. So, what are you afraid of? You're afraid of truth, fairness. <clears throat> what would... <clears throat> let's see. What would you be afraid of? The truth coming out. What what truth are you afraid of here? We're going to clarify these cards. Um, or you don't want to... <laughs> you're afraid of commitment. You're afraid of... Of settling down and, you know, yeah, this is what this reminds me of. You're afraid of something fish official. You know, this could represent someone who, you know, officially settles down and, and um, plans, puts plans ahead for the future. This is a planner here, the king of swords. He plans, he orchestrates. You're afraid of that. You don't want that right now. How people see you is they see you as the uh, world card in reverse. All right, this is Saturn energy. The King of Swords is Aquarius energy. I'm sorry if I didn't say the signs. I'll tell you in a second. But the uh, people see you as the world card. So people see you as <clears throat> not being done doing what it is. You know, not being done partying. Not being done, you know, being you. Not, be, not being done being single. Partying and having fun. You know. <clears throat> they see you as someone who's not willing to settle down. Now your hopes, we have the King of Cups in reverse. So your hopes are that somebody, I guess maybe this is someone who hurt you. You hope that, are you trying to manipulate someone? Your goal is to go out and, and manipulate and to take advantage of people's feelings. I'm thinking it's more so, hmm. But you have to understand with the King of Cups in reverse, as far as his emotions are concerned, he could be somebody who is too emotional. Um, he could be somebody who was emotionally abused, taken advantage of, like a, a manipulator. Okay, um, he could be. It can be a, you know something as as low key as a manipulator, somebody who's just a little sneaky, to um, a straight up. A straight up narcissist.
So this is in your hopes. I don't know what that about, but we're going to clarify. Outcome, seven of pentacles in reverse. So this represents, this could represent um, not seeing, you know, anything that you're passionate about that you want to put a work into as far as not knowing anybody, maybe just not passionate about life, period. You know, your relationship is going bad and, you know, it's like maybe you just, you resort to drinking and, you know, just having one night stands to get to deal with it. You know, you're just ready to move on from that, perhaps. You know, maybe that life is not for you. You know, whether it's with the person who's causing you to feel this way or whether it's the, with the fact that you're just not interested in the relationship. The relationship is <clears throat> is not good for you. You know, it's not what you want. Yeah, you want something new with the Aries card here. You want a new beginning, you know. Whatever you went back to wasn't a good decision. Some of you went back to somebody and it wasn't worth the time or effort. And you, you're ready to move on. But let's clarify these cards and see what we find out. The details always change once we clarify. All right, Sag. Let's see what's up. <clears throat> let's clarify this King of Wands in reverse. Why is this King of Wands in reverse here? Is this sad, you know, wanting to have fun, not wanting a relationship, not passionate about things, you know, not passionate about their relationship? You have that clarified. I can't even get the cards out. The Empress in reverse. Yeah, not wanting anything new with the Empress in reverse is what I'm getting here. I'm going to clarify that further. The World card in reverse. Yeah, you know, this was something that was building up inside of you and you know that's just the way you felt about it you know you could have imploded all right with the tower card in reverse but you know it happened already in this current energy you're thinking about it it already happened let's clarify this uh three of cups energy three of cups energy is cancer energy you know this is you celebrating having fun with friends partying Let's clarify that. Let's clarify with the Six of Cups. So Six of Cups, Cancer Energy. Yeah, this is you hanging out with friends, people that you've known uh, for a while, that you've been friends with for a while, family members, cousins. All right, and we have that clarified with the Five of Cups. Um, in re I'm sorry, Five of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, you may have reconnected with family, Okay. May have reconnected with some childhood friends. It's Mercury retrograde. Everybody looks at Mercury retrograde like, oh God, I'm going to run into a, a lover from the past. But you run into all sorts of situations and scenarios from your past. It could be friends, you know, friends from high school, friends from grade school. You know, the babysitter before you used to go to daycare or before you went to school. The babysitter who used to babysit you and the other kids on the block. You could have run into, you know, one of the babysitter's family members or one of the people that you used to go to the babysitter at, you know. Um, so, yeah, all that type of stuff. So it looks like you ran into someone you guys got together. All right. And let's clarify this nine of pentacles in reverse. What is that all about? We have that clarified with the seven of pentacles in reverse. So, yeah, this is you not seeing anything, you know, worth working on as far as your relationship. You know, let's clarify that as well. Yeah, you don't, you don't see the worth in it. Further clarify with the three of cups, cancer energy. Yeah, you don't see the worth in it. You'd rather party. For some of you, that's just where your head is at. It's like, you know, this is your chance to connect with someone. You know, you run into someone. This person must be someone special. So this is telling me that you went back to a relationship. Now that I'm looking at these cards, you went back to a relationship. You realized with the seven of swords in reverse that it wasn't for you and you shouldn't have went back. You know, and then you decided, you know what? I don't want that. I want something new. And that could have been because you ran into someone from the past recently. Because this is current energy. Mercury retrograde, the pre-shadow spirit uh, period started October 11th. So this is somebody you might have ran back into recently. Let me know in the comments. I do want to know. 
Is this somebody you ran into in October? Now, in the past, we have the Two of Cups in reverse. Let's clarify that. Clarify it with the Nine of Wands. And then we have that further clarified with the Three of Swords, Gemini energy. Nine of Wands is your energy. So, yeah, there's a lot of fighting going on, broken heart. You know, you have your heart broken. This is why you're feeling this way. You know, you don't feel it. love is a waste of time for you. You know, it's a waste of time. It's, it's boring. It's dry. Um, with this King of Swords energy here, I'm getting, you know, this this could represent energy that's boring. It don't have no folk, no emotion, no life. You know, it's it's um confining. You know, it's bland. You know, there's no there's no it gets boring after a while. You know, that's what I'm getting. Um, at the the crowning energy is the three of wands in reverse. Yeah, you don't you don't see any any um anything that you can get out of it, anything positive. Yeah, that clarified with the uh six of so I'm sorry, six of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there's no real give and take. Well, you've not experienced any real give and take that you know with this relationship with this person, which is why you're ready to leave. You know, this person has broken your heart in the past. You guys have been through it with the nine of wands. You are, each of these wands represents the time that you guys have been through it. So you could have been through it nine different occasions you could think of or through the nine months or the nine years, you know, however long a time you've been with this person, you know, um, between six and nine years. Let's clarify the six of pentacles here in reverse. Further clarify with the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, you spent a lot of money and a lot of time on this relationship. You know, you, you broke. <laughs> you know, it's not that you broke, but you had the money. That's, I'm sorry, you had the money, but you spent a lot of it on this. On this relationship. So you lost a lot of money, you know. And you lost your, you know, you lost, you lost your love for this person. You know, you don't you don't love them anymore or they don't love you. Take it how it resonates. This could be for Sagittarius or the person who is dealing with the Sag. Let's clarify why you and your fears. We have the king of wands. You're, you're afraid to to settle down. Yeah. Six of um, swords in reverse. Yeah. You're, you don't want to be stuck because with the six of swords, this could represent someone going back or it could represent someone being stuck. Yeah, that you don't want to be stuck because you feel like you would be stuck when you're in a relationship. Clarified with the two of cups. Yeah, that's exactly how you feel. Get cancer energy with the two of cups. Now with the world card here, this is how people see you. They see you as somebody who's never going to settle down, never going to learn. Because that could represent the world card. Never going to learn your lesson. Because once the uh, world card is in upright, that means you've learned lessons. You completed the cycle. So let's clarify that. Ten of Swords, yeah. They with this person, they think that you're not gonna learn, or maybe they look at you as someone who is constantly breaking hearts, deceiving people, looking for you know leaving one victim or going back to someone, deceiving someone else, and then going and starting something new again for some of you or whoever this resonates for. This is how people see you. Clarify with the seven of wands in reverse. Yeah. And they see you as somebody who. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of people are not looking too fondly of you. They're not looking at you. You know, you may have people talking about you. I don't see the, well, the three of cups is here, but it's not in reversed. Or this could be here where the person was might have been, you know, talking about you. Saying that, you know, you want something for nothing. Meaning that they figured out that, you know, you didn't want a relationship. You were just playing games with the uh, seven of swords here. You know, and they realized that you were coming back to play games. So maybe this person here that you ran into look at you in that manner like you were coming back to play games with these cards here. That's what that's telling me. Five of Cups, 
I'm sorry, five of pentacles in reverse that's going back. Seven of swords in reverse that's, you know, playing games again, you know. Or, yeah, I know you were playing games in the past, but you want to start over now? You you coming back now? Hmm. So, in the immediate uh, future, we got the uh, six of swords. You're ready to move on. You're like, yeah, okay. You know, we've been through this too many times already. I'm just going to move on. Clarified with the, yep, you just want to move on. Nine of pentacles. You just want to move on. Be good. You got your money. You know what I mean? Be single and have fun. Further clarified with the three of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you don't want to work on any type of relationship. You're not interested in a relationship. That is evident here. Okay. This may not resonate for everybody. This might be one particular message or a small group of you who are just going through it right now. But in your hopes, you have the King of Cups in reverse. This is what I want to know. Why is this here? Clarify with the King of Swords. All right, now listen. Let me clarify this one card before I can start. Clarify with the Judgment. Yeah, okay, this is exactly what it's about to say to you. Bad decision. Don't go out here purposely trying to take advantage of people. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because you're not going to do anything but bring bad karma to you. This person may have hurt you. I get it. But if you go back and retaliate against them, it's not going to work for you. It's not going to work in your favor. Eventually, you're going to suffer in some way, shape, or form where you're going to be like, yo, I should have just left it alone. You know, karma has a way of doing that. It may be, you know, easier said than done. I get it. But just take that in consideration. You know, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. But this is the card saying that it's going to be a bad decision. Judgment didn't come out in the upright. When it comes out in the upright, you made a good moral decision. When it comes out in the bad and the negative, this is the opposite. So don't do it. But this is what you're hoping to do. All right, I'll leave it at that. Now the outcome is the seven of pentacles. This could represent somebody who just wants something for nothing. So is that what you're going to do? You're going to go back to them just to see what you can get out of them? Because you're hurt. You're feeling like you want to retaliate. All right, seven of pentacles in reverse is, the, yep, what did I just say? Seven of swords. This is what this is where your head is at right now for some of you. Or this could be to a certain person. You want revenge. Clarified with the three of, yeah, the three of wands. Yeah, you're looking, you want revenge. You're trying to figure out how to get this person back. You're pissed. You're pissed. You realize this person came back to deceive you. Okay, or this person deceived you in the past and now they're back again and you remember this. Or this what could have gone on is you met someone, ran into someone from the past. Yeah, and already you guys are just connected and this person is back to their old tricks again. You know, or things could have been good in the past, but recently when you ran into them, some scenario played out where... You know, it broke your heart. Like, take it how it resonates. All right, we're going to get you some advice from Spirit and see how we can get you through this situation. Now, again, this is general. I could be talking to those watching on behalf of Sagittarius. I could be talking to Sagittarius. This could have already happened. This could have, um, you could be in the process of experiencing this. Or, you know, this could be about to happen, you know. So let's see what we have for my Sag. What can they do in this situation? Let's see what time is it. All right. I think I can see what it is. All right. So I got Wasp Spirit for you. It says, sometimes life stings. Six number 64 so you may want to google angel 64 real quick open up another tab google angel 64 see what it mean while i get the book out and read the definition to you oh let's see all right wasp spirit 
Okay, so it says not all, I'm sorry, not all that spirit creates in nature is easy to love. But when we look through the eyes of wild spirit, we recognize that even though some things or sometimes life stings, there is a purpose, there's a purpose for pain, just as there's a purpose for wasps in the natural world. Wasps keep insects populations down, supporting the growth of plants. Uh, so too, the sting of life may hurt and you may feel deeply disappointed or even resentful that wasp spirit has shown up, but you will soon come to see that spirit has something wonderful in store for you. You may well come to realize that being stung led to uh, something far better than you had ever envisioned before. Perhaps behind the scenes, wasp spirit was conspiring with spirit to ensure that you could grow something of value to you. Spirit has a plan and wasp spirit plays a part. Have you ever looked back and been glad your prayers weren't answered because the path you took led to something far better? Wild spirit is a reminder to reflect on those times. For today's sting may hurt, but something better awaits you. So this is why I was saying I know it, it, it hurts when we talked about what's in your hopes. But this is spirit telling you don't be this way. Don't do it. It's the bad decision to make. Spirit has something better for you. Okay? Don't do that. Please take that in consideration. Now, the protection message. It says, are you holding on to anger, jealousy, resentment because you got stung? Okay, I'm talking to you here. This is spirit talking to you. Or could you have just stung yourself by comparing yourself to others? There will always be someone else who is more successful, happier, thinner, richer, etc., Jealousy is the false belief that you can't have what you want or someone could take away something. That they could take away something that was supposed to be yours. Let it go and release all those feelings that are making your sting hurt long after the stinger has been removed. See, so you're still tied on this past. That's why the Six of Cups is here. Spirit has woken you up, and now you're called to trust that disappointment can lead you to a different path, a different and better path. Align with spirit now and trust that this too shall pass and is already doing so, for the pain subsides when you stop telling the story of how much it hurts. So this is basically telling you exactly what I was saying to you. Now, you, the Six of Cups here and this uh, Five of... Uh, Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is exactly what I was talking about. Someone from your past came back for some of you. And now you want to do them dirty. Now you want to get revenge because this person broke your heart. They may see you now. You looking good. You guys, maybe they thought the past was the past. You guys talking and all in your mind, you're scheming. You know, or it could be somebody that you've been with for a really long time. You realize they were doing you wrong. Okay, and it broke your heart and you dealt with so much from them that, you know what, it's like now I'm I'm done. I'm ready to move on, but I want to get my revenge. You did me dirty. I want to get you back. This is spirit reiterating what I said. Don't do that. Don't put yourself in that situation. Something better is coming. Go um, focus on healing. As a matter of fact, let me get you a crystal angels oracle so you can, you know, grab a stone That'll help you to get through this. Let's see what's up. Stones are amazing. That's why I got like, you know, a whole slew of them on my desk. They help me. Trust me. It'll help you. All right. Garnet is the stone that you should focus on or you should work with. It says purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life okay spirit is talking to you here sad spirit is talking to you and you know it you know it it says this card probably validates what you've already been sensing it's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life in particular this is necessary change to support your health all right what's the first thing that comes to mind to detox perhaps you have been uh, receiving inner divine guidance to, to enjoy a clean energy diet or to abstain from chemicals. Or maybe you are feeling called to avoid harsh energy in relationships on social media. 
or in your daily activities or in the media. Okay, so this is people talking trash about you all in your business. This is supportive. This is a supportive time for you to make this healthy shift. Reach out for qualified help in addictions uh, and creating uncontrol and creating uncontrollable cravings. Prayer can also help you purify your motivations and intentions so that they are inspired from your higher self instead of your ego. With higher vibrational intentions, your manifestations will be more fulfilling and satisfying. Now this stone, although we think of garnets as being deep red, they actually come in a variety of colors. Derived from the Latin word seed, referring to pomegranate seeds. Garnet is actually the name for a family of gemstones, not just a single type. The most magnetic gemstone, garnet, has long been used in support of detoxification and purification. So get you some garnet, carry it around with you in your pocket or your purse. You can get a little small piece like this. Okay, this is not garnet, but this is the size I'm talking about. You can get a, a piece of um, a stone, a garnet like that. Put it in your pocketbook, carry it around with you in your purse. Sleep with it under your pillow. When you wake up in the morning, document your dream. First thing you do when you open your eyes, write down what you dreamed. If you can remember, um, you know, whatever you remember, write down, but try to remember how you felt. You know, for example, if you felt fear, um, write it down. And then when you review your um, writing or your recordings, you know, you trying to connect with spirit and find out what spirit is trying to tell you, then you want to look at how you felt. Why would you feel in fear? What in your waking life is causing you to feel fear? All right. So that's how you want to um, interpret your dreams for any other feeling that you felt. Was it happiness? OK, well, what's going on in your waking life that's making you happy? Keep doing more of that. That type of thing. So, Sag, I hope that this helped you. Um, click like if it did. Um, if you want to get into specifics, I read the comments. Those of you who subscribe, you know, I do. Um, I love you guys and I hope things work out for you. And I really hope that you will reconsider any type of um you know, you dishing out any type of negative energy in retaliation because spirit has something better for you, has something better for you. And that person is going to get their karma anyway, if they already have it. All right. So uh, love you, Sag. Talk to you soon. Peace.